That's one of my favorite things about Dragon's Breath. It'll reduce your target into a flaming pile of goo. What's up YouTube? Welcome to Gunmeister. Today we're going to be shooting some specialty shotgun rounds and this stuff is awesome. We've got everything from flechette rounds to Dragon's Breath to 50 BMG tracers and we're going to be shooting all that stuff out of the Pardner 12 gauge pump. Let's get started. So we're going to start off with the uh, 12 gauge flechette round. Now the flechette round is basically a shotgun shell but inside there is anywhere from 25 the 30 darts and these darts are like little metal nails but they've got fletching on the end made of metal so they fly like little missiles and when these hit something it's a real mess 12 gauge flechette coming at you let's go see what that did look at this all these right here now this was really tight i should have been back just a little bit further but you can see they're tumbling some of them went straight through but let me show you what we're dealing with here you see that? We brought Carol back and she's asked us to try some of the flechette on her. Let's try it. I'm going to step back a little bit so this has a chance to open up a little bit more and let's see what this does to Carol. Basically this stuff just ripped through her everywhere. You can see right here where there was a dart that was sideways. Hit right there, right here. Rolling right there in the throat. That would be nasty all over the chest cavity, uh, one right here, here, a little bit down the nether regions, but more or less concentrated right here. Let's look at the back. Let's look at this one, came straight through, just like a dart, just right in, right out, right here. A little tiny hole where it passed right through. The thing is with these, when they go and they hit, there's some of them are sideways, some of them are straight, and when they get inside, they're, they're just doing whatever they do. It's a real mess, I like them. Let's move along. The next one we're going to try, this is a 12 gauge MPI. MPI stands for metal piercing incendiary. That just sounds good. But you ever seen in the movies where there's a big old gunfight and someone's hiding behind a car door and they're shooting it out? If they've got this loaded gun, it's not going to do jack shit for you. Check this out. What are you doing with MPIs? Car doors? Don't mean much. That's a massive hole. I mean, absolutely massive. In there, out the back side right there I mean that's just ripping through everything in right here this is a very thick 55 gallon drum in there right out the back that was pretty cool but I think we can get a better result let's try it again that's a little better let's go see what happened so we got another giant gaping hole right here Went in there, out the back, came out the same hole right there. If someone's got MPIs and you're standing behind a car to protect yourself, it's not going to do much for them. Let's move along. So next one we're going to shoot, this is called Buck and Ball. It's got a one ounce rifled slug right up here at the tip and like nine buckshot balls in it. This is a nasty round. What I'm going to do is shoot this metal plate with my nine millimeter. The only reason I'm doing that is I want to show you how much it swings with a 9mm. Then I'm going to shoot it with this. Then we're going to shoot it at this white background from a distance and look at the spread on it. So let's do it. Not very impressive. So now we're going to load the bucket ball in here and let's see what that does. there come on down here look so this is where the nine millimeter hit all right this is where the slug hit and all of these are the buckshot that followed the rifled slug that's nasty you absolutely would not want to take a hit off that all right so we got one more buck and slug we're about uh about 20 yards from this thing we're gonna put this in here and kind of see what the spread pattern is on it check it out we've got the slug right here and then you've probably got a 15 inch spread all the way around where the slug has gone in and all the buckshot 
that's an awesome round. I mean, that's going to cause some massive devastation. If you're looking to just clear a room, you might want to consider that. That'll definitely do it. Come on, let's move along. Up next is a 50 BMG 12 gauge round. A lot of people don't have a 50 BMG gun, but a lot of people have a shotgun. 50 BMG 12 gauge shotgun. You do the math, any way you cut it, it equals badass. Check this out. 50 BMG, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go see what it did. This is where the 50 BMG hit right here. Now granted, it was tumbling, but here's the thing. We just shot a 50 BMG out of a 12 gauge, which is sick. So here's the round, and it is hot. Flat on one side, that's obviously where it hit the metal. The back is where the tracer element is, or was, and it's got a nice crack in it. But I'll tell you what, that thing hit like a ton of bricks, it was absolutely awesome. Let's go shoot some more of them. All right, so we got a couple more of these uh, 50 BMG 12 gauge rounds. We've got the gong down there. It's about 100 yards from here. This is a 19 inch pump action partner shotgun. But we're gonna see if we can hit it. I don't know if we can, but let's find out. It hit, but it was keyholing. But the bottom line is, that's really cool. I mean, you can shoot a 50 BMG out of your 12 gauge. It's pretty awesome. I got something else for you. One of my favorite rounds is Dragon Breath. It's so versatile, you can take it camping, you can start campfires with it, home protection, you can even roast a chicken, which is what we're gonna do. See what we got. If you're ever in a pinch and you need to roast a chicken, this is a great way to do it. While that's cooking, let's go try a couple other things. One thing you can do with the dragon's breath, aside from barbecuing and starting campfires, home defense. Check this out. That's one of my favorite things about Dragon's Breath. It'll reduce your target into a flaming pile of goo. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Gunmeister. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting. We'll see you guys next time on the Gunmeister. Probably gonna need to pick up a fire extinguisher too. You're not doing that around me again. Holy shit. Well, next time something's flying at you, you gotta get out of the way.